Oh, <laughs> mommy. All right, another gym leader defeated. Well done. Re <laughs> you and Rika talk. Do you guys? Do you guys talk? Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she met you. I guessed as much. I've had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I'll be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey V, I got my team all picked out. But like, we were about to get endorsed, bro. Everyone calls Miss Gita La Primera because she's just that, she's the real number one. Even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion, oh. Time for our battle, let's go, the battlefield's calling. One moment, please. I would very much like to observe this match, if that's all right. Dude, I'm down. Hey, girl. Oh, Lycanroc. Okay. I forgot we had Alex in the front. Dude, Alex is thick. Yeah, get him. All right, what do you got next? Gumi. Uh, okay. Actually, we can, this is our, this is Auntie Esma's first debut. Let's bring in Auntie Esma. Okay. I'm like, why do you have Gumi? She has four Pokemon. I wanna see this Lumina crash. Whoa. Cool. Dude, and it sharply lowers special defense. Oh my goodness. This is that's such a strong move, dude. That's so crazy. Palmo. I guess we let's send in no 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 not not Star Child yet. We'll keep Auntie Esma in. Oh great. Uh Lumina Crash works. Let's do it. There we go. Dude, Auntie Esma! She's battling with her heels on. She is unbothered. Meow Scarada? Oh my God. Is this it? Okay, we gotta send in the boy. Oh my God. Okay, I haven't seen this yet. Yo, that looks fire! I see why people switch to Sprigatito. I see it. I'm gonna Terrasalize because I know she's gonna do it. These new Pokemon have honestly been so impressive. Oh, she goes like this. Oh my God! Uh, slash, okay, we're good. Fire Blast, take this thing out. Get it out, goodbye. Goodbye. Should take this, consider it an investment. Ooh, ta oh, Terra Blast, here we go. We did see this 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 team star base. Maybe you can go to the team star base and do that. All right, well, we got to fight these dorks. I want to see the boss of the Navi squad. The Navi squad. Don Atticus. Within that base lies team stars poison crew, the Navi squad. Their boss Atticus designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands, but the guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he respond to our declaration of war, just take out his mail. Okay, we we got it. We we'll we'll take this thing out, no problem. Oh shoot! Yo, look at this guy, Shogun. Sheesh! Yo, that eye. You see the detail on that eye? Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel V. I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. Oh. Yo! Okay with the... Okay! Skunk tank, okay. Oh, that's actually the worst for me because it's a dark type. Wait, what level are you? Oh, 32. I'm gonna rock with Alex. Oh, four Pokemon, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's hammer him. We're thick though. Sucker Punch again. I knew you are gonna keep using Sucker Punch. Nice crit, Alex. Oh, here's the, okay. What's wrong with me? I'm gonna go into Auntie Asma. I'm assuming it's this thing. Oh no, it's it's a separate Pokemon. Oh wow. <laughs> All right, uh, let's Lumina Crash. Oh, but it's neutral because I think it's a steel type. I don't know if that makes a difference. Assurance. Okay, okay, okay. 
Muck. Okay. Fine. Dude. Muck looks so cool on top of the car, dude. That's awesome. Yo, that looks sick. That, I'm sorry. That looks so cool. All right. And now we fight the other Rev of Room. I will fight this to the end. Oh, shoot. So extra. Uh, I think I'm gonna... I want to terrestrialize. I want to terrestrialize. Woo, look at... You think she has big eyes? Look at this eye right here. Her opening her third eye, dude. Opening the third eye. That's dope. Oh, uh, we're a little bit hurt. Woo, shoot! She's seen it all. She's seen it all. She's over it. Let's go. Forgive me, my friends. Yeah, we're doing another flashback. Oh my God. Took a goodly time to procure the required materials. That is a really tall person. <laughs> I merely wish to create a costume worthy of your great infernal airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us would be sweating bullets. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. Let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul into honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. I like him. Oh, cool. Please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here. I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we're all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Oh. Have you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've not heard a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team, Ta team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. In truth, none of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, it would seem bullying was to blame. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it, aww. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the academy, but more importantly, can't believe I had no idea about the issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Me thinks I may have been mistaken. Aww. That's so sweet. What the heck? Not me crying in the club. You've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. It seems like a good time to let you know that we're ulti what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star. The one they call the big boss. They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward. Okay, we got some LP. Team Star's founder, the person who's caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. You'll lose your treasure? Uh, no, I just... That's right, you need your reward. Oh, come on! I want to know! I want to know! <laughs> Don't lose to those guys. She has something to do with this. And I'm... Ooh. 